I hope that uh, is being recorded. Okay, I I hope that all views are ready or ready to do because already half an hour is gone already. Okay, um, during the last uh, presentations on the part ones uh, on the wearables uh, technology and so on. Unfortunately, the slide was not was not uh, able to project it out. So, um, so the, uh, tonight I will try to cover a little bit of it. Nah? run it through quickly. Okay, during the, the part ones, uh, we have actually defined what is wearables uh, technology. Yeah. So just, just uh, simply put it, anything that you can wear on your body or via the clothing, your jackets, your t-shirts, or even uh, a ring that you actually uh, put on your fingers and so on, these are all considered as wearable, uh, wearable uh, devices. And uh, we also talking about uh, things like disposable uh, skin patch with sensor and so on. I mentioned that also. It's also considered as, as wearable also. Yeah. And uh, in fact, the list will actually also cover all the way up to whatever implant that you have in your body. Yeah, something like a pacer uh, for to regulate your heartbeats and so on. That is also considered. Yeah, and uh, okay. So that is a that is actually the first definition. And then we are also talking about how the wearables technology work. So to put it very simply, you need a four G five G network to support it. Because when you wear something on your body and you are a movable object, so you cannot connect yourself to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi or something because the Wi-Fi will not be actually able to cover smoothly from, from one location to another location. Yeah, So you have to rely on the, uh, the mobile network. Yeah, Then, of course, Of course, um, the, as the applications actually are getting into more so sophisticated, then certainly the uh, speed of the network will also become uh, very, very uh, uh, important. Yeah. So for people that actually doing a VR or AR kind of uh, activity, and also some uh, wireless uh, sort of uh, equipment, then they actually have to be uh, using the higher speed. Yeah. So that is uh, what we actually mentioned. Okay. So that is that. I think you know, this part, I think we will cover already, just how I mentioned it. Yeah. Okay, so now we let's look at this uh, picture. The in terms of area of application, one of the important area is actually the uh, health and fitness. Yeah, this is actually uh, mainly to actually to cover like like if you are wearing the three bits uh, sort of a uh, device, then they can actually mon monitors your heartbeat and your 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 
body temperature and all kind of things. And uh, it can actually also, uh, let's say, if you you if you go out to actually count the number of steps and so on, that, that will actually able to do it also. And the other one, of course, uh, is the uh, for sportsmen, uh, they actually have to keep track on their body temperature. They actually have to to actually monitor on the the their the, uh, again the heartbeats and the uh, all the, the others are uh, things that in future uh, they can even uh, monitor on your your the amount of uh, oxygen level in your body and so on. So so that will be actually uh, something that is important. Yeah. And uh, for those people playing soccer and so on, then they can actually even monitor your 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 how alert you are and so on, your movement and so on. Yeah. So many of the things. Then for the, the other part is actually for entertainment and gaming, playing a uh, game and so on, and uh, watching your uh, video and so on. So that is actually part of it. So in future with the uh, so-called smart uh, spectacle, you can actually watch your your YouTube and so on without another screen. It will actually just project on your on right onto your 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 eye. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, of course the uh, those kind of camera uh, those kind of spectacle that come with the uh, inbuilt uh, camera, of course, they can actually use it to, to take a uh, video and, and picture and so on. And then the other one is healthcare and med medical uh, kind of things. Yeah, I think some of the things I just have mentioned so they did on the, the medical. The other, the other one on healthcare is actually more on the tele uh, medicine. Yeah, during the SARS time, we we actually have the that kind of, you know the patient can actually lock up with the doctor and then uh, through the video and so on. Then they can actually uh, uh, getting the consultations uh, from the uh, medical doctor. Yeah, and uh, and for other people who actually have a uh, chronic disease, uh, they can actually using the tele uh, medicine also to actually do the checking. Yeah. So that is that on the we really have two things. One is telemedicine. The other one is actually um uh, to monitor your condition. Uh, on the uh, hourly basis or maybe uh, every ten minutes and so on, so that they can actually uh sort of um with the uh, machine and so on your data, your heartbeats, everything will be actually uh, sent to the medical center and then the, uh, they will be actually logged into the computer and the computer will actually have some kind of AI kind of uh, technique. So if your heartbeat, for example, is actually over uh, too high, then they will actually alert the medical staff and then they were able to actually immediately take action and then uh, so contact with the patient who is actually using the uh, the monitoring uh, device, yeah. So of course, the very last part is actually uh, on on healthcare and this uh, medicine is actually they there are certain uh, sensor they are actually try to actually able to regulate uh, some kind of uh, the uh, the drugs or, or medicines uh, to your body, yeah. And uh, recently there was actually an article actually um, in Singapore, we have a lot of people with kidney failure. They actually, um, in the past, they have to go for the uh, dialysis at the center. And uh, every session, I think it take about something like three hours or four hours. So that is actually, um, very costly and also very uh, sort of destructive with your 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 body condition and also your your living quality and so on because every, I think every week you have to go for two 
two treatment or, or three dialysis and each each uh, session take about three to four hours. So actually people who are actually working and so on, then it's actually very inconvenient and so on. And beside that, your body's kind of, uh, it, your health also, or your kidney will be actually uh, deteriorate faster because uh, it, the dialysis is not a continuous kind of process. It's actually uh, sort of, uh, uh, on the first day, your body is condition is very good. On the third day, before you go for treatment uh, dialysis, then your body actually uh, become very, very toxic and then sort of uh, can cause some other health to your body. So this is not really an ideal kind of situation. And you cannot say that, you know, uh, and then the, you send the patient to, to go for every day and every day you go to book a hole and then that is also not a, a really a good thing. So what they are doing is, you know, they are doing this so-called kind of uh, uh, reverse or mostly kind of something like, you know, they are using the uh, membrane that we do it to, we use it to purify our, our water. If you look, if you remember that, you know, our new water is actually using that one to actually doing the, the uh, detoxification in this case, actually to, to remove all the bacteria and so on from the water. And they are actually using that one now to actually put something inside your body or holding a bag tied to your body. And then it will be a continuous uh, kind of uh, process and so on. So I think in the past uh, five to seven years, they've been actually uh, doing it for some of the patients. And then uh, based on the statistic, I, they are quite confident nowadays. So they are talking about in the coming one or two years, they want to phase out the uh, dialysis uh, process. And then every, except some, uh, some, some uh, patient maybe is completely uh, not suitable for that. Uh, then they will continue with the dialysis. Otherwise, they, they will be go to the new method. And those, that means you actually, that is also considered as a wearable kind of uh, device to actually doing your, taking care of your health uh, condition and so on. Okay, the other one actually uh, is talking about fashion. So a lot of, uh, uh, for example, watches that you actually using it, yeah? a smart watch, you know, and uh, it, it is become a sort of a fashion statement, so to speak, you know, people wearing it, whether they are actually using it or not, that is not important, but it's, it's in fashion. Yeah, and I, I have uh, I have an Apple watch and so on. So uh, by the way, so far, the most, uh, the most uh, sort of uh, popular uh, wearable de device indeed is the watch. So the watches are, you know, uh, which in a way is actually being sort of uh, uh, created and then uh, sort of uh, make it popular because of the Apple Watch. Yeah. And uh, by the way, they, they, they also, it took them about five, or five years already before they are actually really catching up the, in the last uh, one year or so. Yeah. Okay, so there is actually, uh, we're talking about the, the application, the use uh, area and so on. I think now this one I covered already is about the uh, some sensing uh, sort of a uh, pack that you can actually use it for the, uh, to do some sensing on your monitoring your health and so on. Yeah. Okay. So this one we just saw the, with that slide, I, can, I actually have mentioned already uh, VR and AR, I think uh, most of you also know already. So fashion and the smart clothing, this one also I mentioned. And of course, uh, security wise, I think uh, this, this area uh, for your information, uh, for example, uh, Singapore police force, uh, especially the SCDF, uh, 
all the uh, all the uh, policemen are actually wearing the uh, camera, a video camera in front of their pocket, the chest. So, so when they actually are doing the the walking and so on, the uh, patrolling and so on, they will capture so all, all the uh, things that actually they, they go through and then depends on their requirement, they can actually uh, go by 5G and then uh, sort of uh, stream back to the uh, police station. Yeah. So I believe that the uh, the armed forces, I think they're also using it, but, but we don't really uh, actually hearing uh, much of it. Yeah. So in future, uh, don't go and confront with the uh, policemen, uh, because if you whatever, uh, Bad words that you actually uh, mentioned, I think they will be all captured by the uh, the camera, the video camera. Okay, then sport and fitness, I think we have mentioned also. So one of it, of course, the uh, way the uh, GS is also, uh, uh, especially team games as well, I mentioned uh, uh, for the, uh, for the, for the soccer player, uh, then for training or for for sort of competition, uh, they can actually also doing the uh, after games uh, analysis based on the uh, the GPS uh, location, so they they actually can monitor what is the distance that the, each player is actually uh, playing for that particular match and so on. So these are the things that actually they will put into the uh, so, sort of uh, analysis and then uh, it will actually help them to do the uh, sort of uh, coach, coaching and training purposes and also uh, have a very sort of uh, clear and analysis on how many goals they actually able to to uh, achieve, and then also the, the angles of the uh, of the kick and so on. Yeah, so there are many things that can, they they can actually uh, make use of this. Yeah, yeah. Talking about that, uh, uh, by this year's uh, F one uh, racing uh, will coming back this uh, September. I think by towards the end of the month. I believe that uh, this year when you have the coverage, uh, especially the, the, the relays on the, uh, the the race and so on, they will be using a lot of drones uh, to take uh, from the uh, from above the uh, racing track. I think that should be a sort of uh, open up another new dimensions of the uh, of the uh, the the videos that they, they can stream to the uh, to all the people in the world. So do pay pay some uh, attention, you know, when when the F1 start again this year. Okay, so we're talking about Apple Watch. We yeah, many uh, company are coming in now. I think there are a lot of catching up. Uh, for example, Galaxy Watch actually it was uh, ready. To, Quite useless and so, so Samsung is actually catching up on the watches. Okay, let me see. Okay, on this jewelry part of it, uh, I think the most popular one is actually a smart ring. It's actually a normal rings, but we embedded some. Uh, uh, Micro uh, processor in there, which is actually able to connect using a uh, near fields uh, contact, just like your your mobile phone. You know, when you actually uh, go nearer to your printer, then you can actually make the connection and so on. Also, but the rings is actually become very very popular. The reason is you know. Uh, people who actually have a lot of uh, have to meet with a lot of uh, clients and so on, they will use the rings to touch somebody else, the customer's uh, mobile phone, and then they will actually just uh, 
transmit your your contacts uh, detail to the the one that actually holding the uh, mobile phone. Now, of course, this is actually very convenient, so that you don't actually have to say, okay, I I I, I uh, turn on the Bluetooth and then I start doing the uh, pairing and so on and so forth. You don't have to do all those kind of thing already. Just use the new fields uh, contact and then you can do it. And this is actually on the uh, commercial side on the business server, you, you use it. But there are also some others are uh, people who actually like to catch up with a uh, strange girl and so on, yeah, in the pub and so on. Then they they so so shy to actually exchange a telephone number, right? Especially in the dark, then you have to turn on your mobile phone and then you have to actually key in your number and so on. So a lot of people actually resort into uh, wedding the smart ring also. Yeah, so you look at some of the girl that you want to actually uh, contact. Yeah, then you can actually do the uh, contacting with the with the rings. Yeah. Okay, so those are the thing, and yeah, you can actually see it, uh, certain things are getting very popular because it has a very uh, specific kind of uh, feature or the function that will enable uh, somebody on the move to actually able to uh, make a contact and so on. Yeah, especially discreetly, you know, rather than, you know, you have to uh, yeah, turn on the light, then you can do some uh, setting on your phone and so on, then it does not make sense at all. Yeah, especially you are in a hurry on the bus and so on, you know, you, you just don't have the uh, space and uh, time to actually doing that. Yeah. Okay, then the body mouse sensor, I, this is actually uh, not exactly that we are repeating, uh, because these are actually some very specific kind of uh, uh, application, and that is why they actually hi highlight it on it also. Yeah. Okay, so this one I think just now I mentioned uh, quite a lot already. Yeah. Um, uh yeah all well, these are uh, body mouse uh, sensor i think i do not know uh um any one of you actually have read some articles that um our hospital actually have uh making a large scale uh, sort of uh sort of uh, tra. this time it's actually uh, for those patients that actually uh, is, is uh, having a uh, diabetes uh, problem. Now, I have one uh, slide that actually are uh, showing that uh, that's uh, articles so I will keep it for later on, you know, if, if I forget, uh, uh, try to uh, remind me. I will show you this one because this one is actually, uh, uh, I think it is the most uh, sort of uh, advanced uh, applications uh, so far in the medical uh, field. And in Singapore, we are one of the uh, few that actually uh, have, have certain kind of, uh, what should I say, the, um, uh, sufficient data to actually back up the uh, to push up the skin but not for all the patients uh, yeah depends on the uh, patient's uh, body condition and so on then they, they actually uh, will help them to actually doing it with the uh, sensor pack the biological uh, to transmit the biological uh, data in this case actually to monitor on the uh, the sugar in the in their body yeah okay then the fitness tractor i think i think most of you are uh, at one time uh, the government are actually issuing up all the uh, the uh, waistband and so on to so they wear on it and then uh, you you can actually uh, get a different uh, a newer one if you have plus you have performed uh, 10,000 uh, steps or something, you know, and our 
members, uh, SMS member, many of many of you actually have a uh, trying out and then are uh, quite happy with the with the scheme. I don't know whether that scheme is still on. Okay, smart clothing. Uh, this one is not really um have a lot of application yet uh, because uh, in a kind of a uh, situation, I think it is too. How do I put it? It is a uh, very difficult to sort of uh, have the immediate uh, kind of uh, benefit out of it. So I, at the moment, uh, really uh, no significant kind of uh, uh, deployments on this kind of uh, smart clothing. Yeah. Okay. The uh, the ARs uh, headset and so on. I think um, many of you actually have tried it out uh, already. I think uh, at one time it was very popular. I think after that they, they stopped again. I think it is quiet down. Yeah. So I believe that you know um, the headsets are uh, that for us to wear it actually. Personally, I feel that you know it's not comfortable because you are completely isolated from the surrounding. I feel that it's very unsafe you're going to wear the headset and then uh, in the public and so on. So you do not know who is behind you, who is next to you and so on. Yeah, unless you are in your own room and so on, you wear it then I, I believe that there is still some kind of safe, safety thing and so on, you know. But you are wearing it, yeah on the pavement or somewhere you know and uh, with a lot of uh, bicycle and and, and others are uh, movable uh, object i don't think it is actually uh, wise to actually wear the ar headset uh. okay then the vr also the same thing also i think you only actually use it for uh, maybe for some kind of uh, job training and so on. Yeah, like the they including the uh, the policemen, the firefighter, and and uh, also the pilots and so on. Yeah, I think it's getting more towards that kind of uh, application rather than you know uh, for entertainment because it's really not not uh, comfortable. Now I think uh, in future if they actually have a smart spectacles and they can like, then the quality is actually as good as what the headset can actually provide you uh, with the thing then maybe for entertainment uh, application then it is actually uh, I think it's more sort of acceptable as at least when you are wearing the uh, spectacle the smart uh, spectacle you still can actually knowing what is going on uh, next to you. Yeah, just like when you put in your wireless, uh, the Bluetooth uh, earphone, then you still can, can uh, listening or can monitor that somebody is behind you or, or next to you and uh, talking and so on. Yeah. Okay, then uh, people that actually uh, have poor uh, listening, uh, hearing kind of uh, condition, of course, the AI uh, hearing uh, sort of uh, the, the earphone will, will be actually uh, very useful, then they can actually able to screen out the noise from the uh, the, the thing that, that the patients or the, the weather to, would will be able to actually enhance the hearing and so on. Okay. Now this is actually just a run through on the, some of the uh, thing. Eh? I think um, depends on against what is your definition of wearables and uh, technology and so on. You know, you can actually trace back, uh, back to uh, in the 60s or even earlier than that, you know. So there yeah, are many things we can we actually uh, put on our body, put, yeah, uh, earrings, uh, uh, pendant, 
and a lot of other things, you know, the Indians will puncture their nose and then they put, put the start also something like that. At one time, uh, there was a, a crazy thing that, you know, people punch through their lips and so on, and then they put the diamonds uh, stuck uh, over there and so on. Yeah, youngster also doing that. I think uh, probably about 10 years ago, it was, was very fashionable and so on. So you can actually do that also, you know, but instead of just a diamond, you actually put a uh, microprocessors uh, on it. Yeah. Okay. So in the 70s, yeah, at that time, there were a lot of calculator already. And then uh, uh, there were some uh, calculator, uh, sorry, there was also a calculator that built into a wastewatch and so on with the keypad. Yeah. I will show you some of the, uh, the photo and so on uh, as we go on. Then uh, in the 80s, there was an important thing actually on the, uh, I think, uh, how many of you actually, uh, I, I believe that though in, in the 60s and 70s, they, they, must, they must have actually used a so-called the Sony Walkman, right? They started off with the Walkman's uh, cassettes uh, player and then as the technology go up further, then they were the Walkman that actually uh, playing with the uh, with the built-in. Uh, I think not 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 the Sony. I think it was creative technology. Yeah, uh, they actually come with the uh, hard disk. Uh. at that time it was the uh, the the small. Not not the big uh, big one for the the desktop uh, computer. It's more for the, the small hard disk that actually they put on the uh, the portable device and then uh, they, they can actually uh, play music and so on. I think we're using MP3 uh, format to play the music. So uh, our entrepreneurs uh, was quite advanced. Uh, so people like Sing Wong Fu and so on were doing that kind of thing. Okay, so that is the uh, talking about the Walkman. I think uh, even up to, to today, uh, you still can get Walkman on the on the Amazon's uh, online uh, shops. I will show you some of those uh, slides later on. Okay, then the next one was the G, uh, okay, that webcam and so on. I think uh, I'm not too sure whether it's actually uh, popular in Singapore. I do not know. Wearables, wireless, uh, I think it was actually connected to the, uh, what is that? The Wi Fi network, I think. Okay. Then in 2000, they were talking about, oh, there are a lot of Bluetooth uh, headsets, I think. At home, I think uh, most of you also have the Bluetooth speaker connecting to your mobile phone or something so that you don't actually have to uh, copy the, the music file everywhere, you know. You just concentrate onto your tablets and your Bluetooth and then you can actually stream the the music through the headsets or, or external speaker. Uh, and you can put it in the bathroom, you can do the music that you want. Okay, then uh, 2010, what was it now at that time? Okay, they were, uh, yeah, this one I actually mentioned during my, my uh, first wearables uh, talk at that time, I think a couple of years back, we were talking about the Google's Glass and so on. Then at that time, I was actually mentioned that you know, because of Google Glass, it's you you know some of some of this wearable is so as what I mentioned, uh, whether you are using a contacting uh, sort of uh, uh, rings that actually you wear on your finger and so on. Now some of the wearables are uh, technology they can become uh, sort of acceptable and then uh, and uh, usable is purely because when you wear it. 
it is actually quite discreet in the sense that you know people would not notice it but when you actually wearing a google glass uh, with a camera on this so obvious people will actually think that you are actually uh, getting into some privacy uh, problem who is going to talk to you when you are actually wearing such a glass because well, whether you are do operating uh, it or not nobody know but people will try to avoid uh, have eye to eye contact with you if you wear if you on the on the uh, walking on the pavement uh, and then somebody wearing the such a glass i think you will try to uh, avoid him also right so very much also you know some of the things you must be actually able to mesh with your so-called your normal self thing like a like an apple watch uh. everybody is wearing a watch so when you wear a watch nobody actually uh, sort of uh, saying that you know you are doing some recording or you are taking photograph and so on so forth yeah all those indeed you can actually do that you can turn on your uh, apple watch and then you can do some recording or streaming onto your handphone and so on but but you take it that you know that person is not doing it all the time you see unless they for some purpose they will not turn on yeah and even if you can record some voice uh, what can you do about it because yeah so it's very different from if you are taking picture taking picture you know then you can actually do a lot of uh, uh, follow-up kind of uh, other things you know which is actually uh, not very uh, acceptable to other people okay then uh, then we talk about okay 2020 was talking about AR and VR headset and so on okay then the future uh, okay now they're coming back to the Apple glass they are thinking that you know uh, maybe Apple will be able to actually uh, become more in innovative that actually they can come up with a glass uh, Apple glass that actually are very discreet that people do not know that it is a smart glass yeah so uh, so i think this is something that you know uh, in the coming years maybe we can actually see whether any of the uh, uh, company can actually come up with uh, yeah a new uh, design that actually is that is actually uh, really provides some kind of a uh, good reason that people will want to use it okay then it is actually too realistic i think they're talking about harvesting uh, energy i think maybe it's talking about wearable side of uh, uh, solar panel or something like that i don't believe quite believe on it i think unless uh, unless you actually use the kind of energy to power uh, some simple devices or even uh, you know whatever they actually mentions in uh, earlier about a sensing patch that actually you attach to your body to actually monitor your your body condition and so on you know and those uh, kind of uh, device uh, they actually draw very little kind of uh, power for example then maybe with the uh, this kind of wearables uh, sort of uh, device to actually uh, incorporate with the with the these uh, uh, medicals uh, sensing pack uh, that then it will actually uh, help in the sense that you know you don't have to actually worry about the battery life and so on yeah of course these uh, are this actually uh, using the uh, physics uh, physical property of, of the uh, a kind of a crystal when you press on it uh, then you will actually sort of generate electricity or at least generate some uh, uh, a kind of electricity and uh, if you if you remember i think some of the gas lighter uh, they are using this uh, technology so you you actually don't have to put in the uh, battery to actually uh, using that kind of lighter yeah I think NASA was very popular nowadays. Uh, it seems that you know, 
is not not getting popular because nowadays they, they, they actually get lighter, they actually use a kind of a portable uh, uh, small bottles of uh, gas actually and even uh, let's say cigarette lighter, they, they have some uh, liquid inside there and then it's very cheap, you know, talking about one dollar or, or 60 cents, you can actually get one rather than using this uh, kind of crystal kind of thing. Okay. Okay, so, okay, now come to contact lens. I think this might be become a very useful. For example, I think most of the older people, uh, because of cataract and so on, they actually have to go for operation to remove the lens and then put an artificial lens inside and so on. So maybe uh, in future, they can actually put the uh, the lens uh, they actually come with the microprocessor only or something like that. They can measure your 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 internal eyes uh, pressure, you know. Yeah. Because some those people we are uh, a kind of uh, eye disease, uh, glaucoma or something like that. Yeah. They you they actually can go blindness blindness uh, if they are not careful if you do not know that they actually they have the uh, pressure that is too high and so on yeah so and if you can actually have a micro uh, processor on your contact lens and so on uh, and it can actually monitors your 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 internal uh, eyeballs are uh, pressure that will actually be uh, very useful in a sense because uh, I think those people have that disease, uh, they normally have to apply some droplets to actually uh, sort of uh, reduce the uh, internal pressure and so on before it's actually uh, causing some damage uh, to your eye. Yeah. So that's the uh, thing like that is actually uh, Something is actually useful, and this is also vital in the sense that you, know, you have to measure your your eye uh, conditions uh, continuously rather than uh, uh, wait wait for the uh, occasional so in uh, doing the, the checking and so on. Okay, so that is that, and then um, yeah, this AI uh, human brain and so on. I think this one, I think. Uh, it's uh, premature to to talk about it and neither do we really understand also I think yeah it's very complicated uh, how to actually monitor our brain wave and so on yeah so okay I think that is the uh, uh, that uh, actually uh, cover some of the things that you know uh, I did not actually uh, mention last uh, on the part one's uh, talk. Okay, let's go to the next one. I have to go back to the this. Okay, this is another uh, thing. There are some overlapping, I think, uh, but that nevertheless, I think, let us look at it. Uh. No, this, no, this, the same one, sorry.
<laughs> no, how come I keep on click on this one? Okay, this one will actually um, articles that appear uh, the website that actually I went through. There's actually some how the Apple Watch actually uh, being used for this uh, special program. I I think uh, let us look at it together. Okay. So the date was actually on the twenty twenty, yeah. So about two years ago. Now it's October, two years ago. Okay, this in conjunction with the uh, health promotion board. Uh, so they are doing the healthy lifestyle. I think actually more to adopt a, a more active kind of uh, lifestyle, I think. Yeah. Physical, mental, well-being, sleeping, nutrition. So it's actually a 24 hours of monitoring kind of a program. Yeah. And vaccinations plus regular update on the COVID pandemic. I see. So I think this is a very post, uh, sort of a specific kind of a program, I think. I. I did not actually uh, aware of this one. Yeah. So they, they even talking about the mental well being of it. This is another program key feature of the program 79% use. Okay. I think maybe. I will follow up on this one and see uh, whether any uh, sort of result they actually they have they have uh, gained from this uh, particular program. Now we're actually talking about oh okay there is something talking about just now the 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 monitoring of your brain and so on. I think this is one of it now, I believe, because talking about indicating the uh, what from it to actually um, 
sort of uh, measuring the, your stress level and so on. Yeah. And this one is actually more on the uh, new stresses management skill and monitoring on your exercise. Yeah. Increase in, uh, oh, in terms of uh, percentage of population, more people doing exercise regularly. Okay, this is, this is actually, uh, yeah. I think they, these are the sort of uh, result they actually have uh, gained from the uh, program, I think, yeah exercise meanings and so on for low active group. Oh. Do you what, what it, you know how many time you breathe in, breathe out? And they also capture that. And the uh, mental well-being of the uh, challenges to the user since launch. Yeah. Okay. I I, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't actually. Have a clear understanding on this program. Yeah. I think uh, let, let us. Uh, yeah. Skip it, I think. I, I need to actually uh, make some more search on the related uh, program. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Let me see. See whether I have to close some file first. Mm. Uh, this, okay, this one, I think during the part one talk, I have mentioned quite a lot on the AR and the VR, I think. So, so I think we can skip this one. Okay, uh, I have quite a lot of uh, photograph and picture, which I actually make a search the website. This is a kind of uh, casual computer uh, watch. Um, you can actually uh, press on here and then uh, you can do some calculation. I was using one of these when I was working that time because I sometimes have to do some on the spots, uh, some calculation and so on because I, I was actually uh, at that time, I have to do a lot of work study. So I have to uh, go in a uh, sort of uh, check on the, uh, the work cycle of the production uh, operator. And then from there, I, I actually have to do some calculations. Uh, yeah, when I'm working uh, in the factory at that time. So I've um, one of the Problem, yeah. Actually, I was using a touch screen uh, calculator watch actually, and uh, and those kind of uh, touch screen is different from the the present one. The present one actually, I think they are talking about uh, using capac 
certain kind of uh, touch screen. I think it's actually based on your the pressure that actually you, you press on it. But that the the old uh, touch screen actually they have a grid on the screen, and each shell they actually have this uh, number pack on it. So you have to press on it. And uh, so they, when I my my using experience was that when I was in the office, there is a uh, air conditions uh, kind of environment. The that kind of touch pad was actually uh, very accurate in the same because it, you have a lot of grids uh, on it, and you just press onto the each individual cell. Uh, you you get the right after all it's not, it's not mm -hmm. easy so you can actually do that now the problem is you know the factory is so it's actually quite calm and the simple hum humility is very very high so somehow especially from the icon that I go into the factory immediately actually there is a a thin film of this uh, moisture actually on the screen because the, the the screen itself was very cold actually in the office and then it go down and then so when I touch it uh, because of the uh, water vapor and so on this short circuit so I can never actually able to uh, key in the right number <laughs> so eventually <laughs> I decided to carry a, a calculator rather than using the, this uh, stupid thing <laughs> yeah Okay, just to share with you uh, some of the uh, things that you know can happen. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh. Okay, now this is the creative uh, MP3 player. Can you imagine? There's actually a hard disk inside. The only only good thing is now at that time they already have able to convert the uh, the CD uh, format into MP3. So in other words, uh, the file are actually more compact, you know. Then the uh, the file in the uh, in the CD uh, the music disc in, initially actually it was actually a uh, uh, portable this uh, music player which it come with the uh, CD uh, CD drive in actually actually and they were playing the music uh, you know so you can actually see that you know. You have to change the 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 CD uh, because every CD I think the total length they can play is about fifty over minutes I think I think uh, double you know the uh, the other kind of uh, the 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 so called the uh, normal uh, This actually we, we use it for playing actually it's actually a two side and that's not the mechanical one. Huh? No, no I'm talking about the 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 hard disk and the the uh, drive actually uh, the CD uh, player that actually playing the uh, the the MP3 uh, format. So for the subsequently uh, when they they when the um, when the uh, MP3 format and the, uh, the the CD player they they can make into such a small uh, they also use it for the uh, portable uh, player like this yeah so at that time. Then you, you know, when you actually have a, a CD, the disc uh, that 
loaded or actually uh, with a uh, lot of uh, mp3 uh, songs on it uh, you can actually uh, put in a uh, lot of song actually i think uh, easily i think 100 song i think or even more okay, i can't remember we have one song only how many uh Michael's uh, beats, I do not know. I think you, you can easily put uh, two, 200 songs or not on one CD in, in uh, MP3 format. Yeah. So, yeah, you can see that, you know, our Sim Wong Hu, uh, I think he is actually now in the 70s, I think. Yeah. He was the one that actually uh, so called invented this the sound card uh, for the uh, desktop PC. And uh, for that, he actually make a lot of money out of the sound card because at that time he has a pattern and so on. So all the uh, PC suddenly they, they can, they can play songs, they can play music because of the sound card. So yeah, so he was uh, the hero in the uh, PC world at that time. And uh, he he earned enough money to actually uh, push his company into a listed company, and then even listed at one time in uh, U.S. Uh, stock market. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, uh, he push up these kind of devices. Start with the with the hard disk. And at that time, you can imagine that, you know, the hard disk no longer is, uh, you know, even the, uh, the, the micro uh, hard disk, they still need a lot of power to drive it. And then uh, if you drop it, you may damage the hard disk also. And then the whole thing, the whole player will be gone also. Yeah. And uh, same thing also, if you are, if you are playing it, yeah, I remember that, you know, last time when, when we have a laptop uh, with a hard disk, when you are actually uh, writing or, or retrieving some file and so on, or you are sending some file or stream something, you then move your, your laptop, right? Just in case that you damage the hard disk. <laughs> yeah. So you can imagine that, you know, you put a hard disk on such a thing and then you're supposed to actually bring this, uh, you know, this a portable device. And then you are not all the time playing with the hard disk. It's actually in the horizontal position, you know, it's in the vertical position. And then you can imagine that the, the, the hard disk, the pickup uh, arm uh, will e easily scratch the, the uh, so-called the... Uh, the platter and so on, yeah. So in other words, uh, he actually had the good idea to push out this kind of thing. But on the other hand, the technology was not mature enough to go into this kind of product. So the 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 so research and the, the, the to market this and so on, it become very soft become uh you know the useful period was actually a very short and then i don't think it really make money out of this uh, kind of project the only portables are mp3 machines uh, that actually taken off is when the fresh drive was actually uh, invented yeah uh that is actually the subsequence of the uh, so-called usb drive yeah by the way uh the usb drive also uh come out from one of the entrepreneurs uh, Singaporean also yeah and uh, recently very unfortunately uh, he was in the news that you know he was a uh, court case now because uh, he have uh, he have committed some crime on the uh, uh, making up the financial record or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, he also got his uh, company listed also, I think, uh, subject, uh, 
again, uh, that guy also, yeah, very unfortunate because uh, at that time, the uh, the, the so-called uh, flash drive, the technology also not so uh, advanced that to actually able to make it cheap also. So it was very, very expensive, you know, you know, the first time drive, you know, uh, 8 GB, it already cost you uh, something like a uh, hundred dollars or so. If I remember correctly, the compact, the compact uh, drive actually I have, you know, only 8 uh, GB. And at that time it cost me uh, $60. It was uh, after some years. Yeah. So you can imagine you put such a thing into your camera and then your your camera and how many uh, photo can you take but at that time the uh, resolution is also very very bad so yeah so so you can actually uh you know for youngster uh, remember if the technology is not mature enough don't venture into something that you know is not a uh, business uh viable you know it's a waste of uh your your idea and then a uh, waste of your investment yeah okay so so that is a uh, kind of things uh. let me go down the list uh, okay this is the uh, sony walkman Okay. Yeah. Now this this is still on sales in uh, Amazon. It's an MP3 player. Yeah. So also before the uh, the smartphone come out, huh? people were carrying this kind of thing to listen to the the music and so on. And you can see it's only 4 GB. Sorry. For music uh, file with different kind of uh, MP3, AAC, all kind of different format. Now you can actually squeeze in quite a lot of songs. Yeah. So it's still available. Huh? $79. Okay. Ah, this is a radio cassette player. How many people still can remember about the cassette tape? This is a low-end uh, Sony uh, cassette player Walkman. Yeah. The cassette tape is in, inside there. Yeah. And uh, subsequently, they also incorporate a radio feature also. Yeah. So if you if you look into this and then compare with today, now we have the uh, handphone is on, you know. Nobody is actually interested to carry such a thing. Okay, this is the player. Now this is the one of the earlier generations of uh, Sony Walkman. You know, initially the uh, Walkman is very, very heavy also because uh, you, you, you really cannot... Uh, uh, how do I put it? Huh? Because the, the, the tape itself, the cassette itself already uh, is quite bulky. And then at that time, um, there was no direct DC motor to drive. To really, uh, so, uh, running the two spool for the uh, tape. So they're using the rubbers uh rubber band inside there to actually uh pull and so on so 
and then the tape you have the fast uh, forward winding and then uh, then also the backwards uh, winding and so on so the mechanism inside there is quite complicated and then the whole normal play the speed also is different and it must be consistent and it must be uh, sufficient power to actually pull pull the tape through the recording head or the playback head whatever you call it yeah and uh, when you pause the uh, music you also actually have to put a brake on the uh, motor also you know so it is quite a challenge actually to make such a drive in such a small compact uh, box yeah and at the same time also you you play for 30 uh, minutes kind of music you have to pull through quite a few meters of tape uh, from one spool to another spool so yeah but during that time it is really amazing you know you can listen to uh, music while you are outdoor while you're on the bus or you can bring such a thing to lecture and then you can do some recording of your jokes on the day with such a small box like this you are so grateful you know so yeah it all depends on you know at that time such a thing is already uh, really very crazy for everybody to actually you know looking forward to it and such a thing uh, cost you uh, something like a few hundred dollars you know if i remember correctly it's about four or five hundred dollars sing dollar yeah because the, the finishing everything is very nice actually the only thing you know uh, at that time there was no lithium battery so they cannot put a lithium battery inside there the normal kind of uh, battery inside there yeah initially there was four 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 battery you can imagine how heavy it is plus battery and so on yeah so if you look into this one then uh, this, this something is so long ago you are talking about 20, 30 years ago i think in the 70 in the 80 yeah okay Uh, this is what man player. I think this one. I think some some people actually still using. You can see there is actually the whole. These are actually off uh, Amazon's uh, online also, so you can actually see. The, I'm quite surprised, you know. There are certain parts of the world are still buying this. I think. Nowadays in Singapore, you hardly can get music CD. Oh, I, I think you say you can get music CD. Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually see, you know, subsequently they, they make the thing uh, into a round shape because it reduces the, uh, reduce the, 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 the size of the player also, at least you don't have all those uh, four corners and so on if you make it into a rectangular one you know so they actually cover on it and so on the, the so this is exactly more or less the same size as the cd itself i believe that uh, you people must have actually used this also so these are uh, cd player these are uh, cd with mp3 so you can actually have your mp3 uh, uh, written on the uh, CD and then you can put in it, you can also play it. Of course, you can play CD also. So it's the, the, the encoder inside it can actually have it uh, different format. Uh, then they come with the uh, reduce built-in also. Yeah. Now CD, uh, Sony was the one that actually really captures uh, the market uh, because since the very first uh, Walkman uh, cassette player, 
they were the market leader for and the brand name is actually the what main brand is actually uh so popular with the uh the uh, markets whether it's in india whether it's in china and so on but i, I think at that time china's are uh, still not really affordable I think those people cannot afford to be buy why Singapore, yes, they were flooded all everywhere. Is, uh, Sony, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I think this is another format, right? The music, uh, coding, uh, format instead of MP3. I think this is, uh, the Sony uh, companies are uh, owns uh, coding. But the bad thing about this uh, CD player is you no, know, you cannot do recording. So for the uh, music cassette kind of uh, player, you can actually bring it to the lectures, uh, you know, you can actually do some recording of the lecture. Okay. Now this is something that you know. Not so high tech. Can you guess? <laughs> this is July the 4th this year. Sony have marketed this uh, wearables are air condition. So I can't believe it because uh, if you actually, you, you know the uh, air corner uh, take up a lot of uh, power, right? Even for our room and so on, one night you can actually cost two or three dollars if you turn on the air con over the night. Yeah. I think in the coming month, maybe even more expensive because the electricity is also more expensive. So let us look at the shape, I think, how this thing actually, yeah, there was a, somehow somebody have some uh, idea, so they just want to put into a, uh, yeah, try. So they're talking about. So the move on ten thousand unit. Oh, for two days. So we see uh, uh not so high tech, but maybe some people actually need it, especially uh recently a lot of uh, country actually having a uh, heat wave. And uh, and the outdoor temperature is all above forty degrees C. Yeah. So you need such a thing. So there is a aircon, portable aircon. I don't know how many uh, set of battery. Oh, one hundred minutes you have to change the battery, or you have to charge it. Oh, okay. USB C charging. Yeah. So, yeah. 
I think when the weather is really hot, probably such a thing is can help a little bit, I think. So that is considered as a wearable uh, device. <laughs> there are subsequently some uh, other in innovations uh, kind of design, you know. Now this one is actually incorporate with the stand so that you can actually, you know, just the headphones uh, stand. So you can actually direct the air, you know, put it on the table and then you don't have to hold it. Yeah. Okay, there are some explanations on uh, how they work. So it's 14,000 yen uh, selling. Now it's about 70 yen. Uh, 100 yen is $1, let's say. So, minus, so it's $148. Will you be buying it? It's not so energy efficient. Okay, so that is a thing. We look into different kind of uh, yeah application. Okay, this is a better design, I think. This is not from uh, Sony. I think some others are, are no brand. Yeah, it's a brand name. So you can actually wear it on your neck. And this is in front. So the air will blow on the suicide underneath your, underneath your mouth. Yeah. And $66. I think also with USB charging, I think. Yeah. Fast cool. 45. Why wow, it's quite quite low on huh, the temperature. Cool air. I think 32 is is zero degree C, uh, so this is actually 10, it's about 15 degree C, uh, I think, if I estimate the conversion. So they suck in and then blow out in here, suck in here and blow out. So we are sending this money to buy it. Okay. okay, this is the one that actually for medical uh, use. Now this is actually the construction, the schematics are uh, show. So they are actually some printed circuit boards and the uh, thing and sign key in some button and so on. So you, I think you have to actually stick it somewhere on your body and so So they actually a sensing pack underneath to actually be able to see it, to sense uh, from your body, yeah. So it's stick to skin wearable. Now this is actually um, depend on the actually the application. As what I mentioned, uh, uh, just later on I will show you the, the another one which they just push out by the MOH for diabetics uh, patient. Uh, that one is actually just a piece of skin that you actually stick on your 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 arm armpit, I think. Yeah, we'll look at that. that. But this one, I, I do not know for what uh, sort of uh, purpose they make it such a thick one that how go to stick on it. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, this is available. Glasses, smart glass. Okay, let's look at this. This is a sunglass. So what are the built-in uh, smart feature? Oh. Well, they only uh, the only sound is the uh, uh, if you don't wear it, I think so. It's not much use. Uh. Oh, okay. It also has the uh, use it as a headphone using Bluetooth connection to take picture there's a capture button oh okay AR feature great upgraded smart glasses so you can see I don't know even this Will you be wearing such a smart classes? It's not so discreet again. Huh? Yeah. Now, with this our resolution, not much use also, I think. 8 megapixel. Yeah. Expensive. Cranky. Yeah, you can see. It look like you know technology is not uh, mature enough for it to be uh, popular and acceptable. Yeah, you look. You look at all this. It will be quite heavy to wear such uh, glasses. Yeah. So, so it, from here you can actually see that you know if you are a designer or a developer for this for this kind of a product and so on, then you must actually really draw a line. What is actually a uh, so-called marketable and what is not marketable? With such a thing, I don't think anybody will. Uh, will want to actually even if you give it to people to use for free people are still feeling uncomfort uncomfortable to wear it I think yeah and that's their, their work but certainly not for day-to-day -day use